What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing a no-bake recipe for chocolate pretzel peanut butter bars. These are the items you'll need. 12 tablespoons of butter or one and a half sticks and two cups of crumbled pretzel rods. I just use this little crusher to crush all the pretzels. You want them to be in little crumbs and you want two cups of these. Next is one and a half cups of confectioner sugar and one cup and then another one fourth cup of peanut butter. And you'll use these separately. And the last ingredient is an 11 and a half ounce bag of chocolate chips. Step one is to melt the 12 tablespoons of butter. And I just did this in a microwave. Once the butter is melted, get a large bowl. And then you'll want to combine the following items. Start with the butter. And then add the one cup of peanut butter. You want to make sure everything is nicely combined because you want a nice smooth mixture. Next you'll want to add in the crumbled pretzels. And then last you'll add the sugar. And then you'll blend all of the items together making sure everything is thoroughly mixed. Once that's all done, you'll take an ungreased 13 by 9 inch baking dish and pour that mixture right into that and this will create a thin layer. And make sure you cover the entire area of the dish, pressing it down into all the corners and all the sides and just spreading it all out as thoroughly as possible. And with the chocolate chips in a microwave safe bowl, you can microwave these to melt the chocolate in 30 second intervals. That is the recommendation so as not to burn the chocolate. And at this point you'll take that last 1 4th cup of peanut butter and add that in with the chocolate. And just smooth that all together. And once it's combined, you can just pour that directly over your pretzel peanut butter layer. And then go ahead and spread this out completely evenly so the entire bottom layer is covered. And then cover this and refrigerate it for at least one hour. This is how it looks the next day. 
that stayed in the fridge overnight. It didn't have to, it just needs to be in for at least one hour, but we've already cut into it. And this is how it's looking. And at this point, you can go ahead and cut it into bars of any size and store it, preferably in the refrigerator. Although I guarantee it will not last long, this is delicious. Anybody who loves peanut butter, chocolate, or pretzels, this is the perfect recipe for you. Thank you so much for watching.